A lawsuit has emerged accusing renowned music mogul Sean Diddy Combs and his former bodyguard, Joseph Sherman, of drugging and sexually assaulting a woman in 2001. According to the court documents, the woman claims that she was lured into the Bad Boy Records studio in Manhattan, where she was drugged and violently assaulted. The accusations include horrific details of how she was bound, restrained, and subjected to abuse, with her cries for help going ignored. The assault is said to have been filmed and later shown to others as a means of further humiliating her. The woman, who was 25 years old at the time, refrained from reporting the crime to the police due to fear of retribution from Combs, a highly influential figure in the music industry. She has since struggled with the emotional aftermath of the assault, including depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder, that is PTSD. The lawsuit claims the emotional toll worsened when she discovered in 2023 that a video of the incident had been shared with multiple people, leading to her deepening despair. In her recent statements, the woman expressed relief at Cohn's recent arrest on separate charges of racketeering and sex trafficking, saying that she now feels empowered to speak out. Despite the temporary relief brought by his arrest, she is still grappling with the long-lasting emotional scars left by the crime. The lawsuit seeks to ensure that the video is permanently destroyed and asks for unspecified damages. This case comes amid a broader wave of legal actions against Combs, who has faced multiple accusations of sexual misconduct in recent years. The lawsuit also implicates his record companies, accusing them of facilitating the abuse. For the woman, the case represents a long-awaited opportunity for justice after more than two decades of suffering in silence.